Wow, praise the Lord. God is good all the time. The Lord is good. I'm telling you, I'm so excited uh, that uh, you've decided to join me again. I am excited about what God is doing, uh, what he will be doing, uh, because today I really sense an anointing from the Lord to really, 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 really uh, pray for the sick. I mean, it's... it's, it's uh, it's really on my heart because I'm so tired of God's people dealing with the evil altar of infirmity in their life. And uh, today I really felt led of the Holy Ghost to really bring this powerful, powerful, powerful presentation to you because I really want to see you get touched by the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, I can't wait for you to be touched by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, so right now what I want you to do is Get as many of your friends. Tell them that the mouse is live and you want to, you want to join me because we, I'm going to just be praying. I'm just going to be praying for many of you that need a touch from Jesus. So again, uh, I believe we are live on YouTube and we are live on Facebook. So again, I want to encourage you to let as many people know, yes, you're coming in. Uh, I have a word from the Lord today. Tonight, this evening, for those of us who are in the USA, it's going to be an evening of miracles. Now, if you are around the world, then this is going to be, an, uh, is going to be also a morning of miracles for you. If you're in Australia, or maybe you are in um, Africa, it might be we, you might be in the wee early hours of the morning, but guess what? There's nothing like Jesus to move early in the morning, like the songwriter um, Fred Hammond says, let in the midnight hour, God is going to turn it around. Hallelujah. Let in the midnight hour, God is going to turn it around. So I believe in that. So get, you know, listen, if you're on YouTube, share this feed with as many people as you can. Okay? People need what I'm about to do today. So you just say, to the mouse's life right now, he's going to be dealing with one of his dangerous prayers, particularly focusing on overthrowing the evil altar of infirmity, overthrowing the evil altar of infirmity, you really, really, really want to uh, get involved. And so let them get involved, share, uh, you know how to share, you can share uh, the live feed from your contacts, you know, I mean, you know how it, how it is on your tech side, you can choose as many people as you can and just forward it to them so we can, we can have as many people get blessed uh, about with what God is about to do. So go ahead, share, share, share. Now, if you're on Facebook, the sharing mechanisms on Facebook are even much easier, you know, and so if you're able to see us, to see us on Facebook, then definitely, amen, because I think we are also live on Facebook, I'm noticing, and we are also live on Facebook. So because we are live on Facebook, Facebook sharing is also much easy. Now, remember that uh, you can make comments. Now, if you're not a subscriber, on YouTube to my YouTube channel, YouTube will not allow you to subscribe. So you watch, uh, YouTube will not allow you, sorry, to post your prayer comments, you know, anything you want to tell me. So solve that problem right now by simply clicking subscribe, and then you, you, you can post as many comments, tell me what you are, you are believing God for, because today there is such a healing anointing on me. It's so strong right now. I believe as many people as will be plugged in to this live feed that need a healing in their body, there's going to be, I'm telling you, there's going to be so many miracles. The mir I mean, the, I'm telling you, the infirmity, that place of weakness in your life, whether it's a disease, whether it's in the soul, you know, that's got you bent, that's got you fragile, that's got you handicapped, I believe today God is going to bring about a healing. You know, as you know, many of you, I wrote a book called yeah, uh, Dangerous Prayers from the Courts of Heaven that Destroy Evil Altars. This book has become a, a manual for deliverance and healing by people around the world, you know. And uh, so the prayers that I bring, the dangerous prayers I bring live to YouTube and Facebook, they come from that book, Dangerous Prayers from the Courts of Heaven that Destroy Evil Altars. Amen. Now listen. Uh, while we are getting ready to, while we are getting ready to really get into it, 
uh, while you are sharing uh, this feed with as many people on Facebook and YouTube as you can, what I want you to do is just check out this announcement because I have got a, the first time ever I'm doing a conference called Ancient Paths Order of Melchizedek Conference. Ancient Paths Order of Melchizedek Conference with my dear friend Apostle Craig Hill and Apostle Brian Valley in, Flor in Orlando, Florida in the month of October. I d uh, listen, you have to be there physically. But if you cannot be there physically, the live, stream op uh, uh, the live stream option will be available. But I'm telling you because we're going to be laying hands and imparting the ability for people to walk effectively in the order of Mechizedek and in the ancient paths. You want to be there where we can physically lay hands on you for a powerful impartation by the Spirit of God. So at this, I'm, I'll be right back after this announcement because I want you to check out this trailer about this upcoming conference, October 13 to the 15th. Then I'll be right back to get into overthrowing the evil altar of infirmity in your life and your bloodline. I'll be right back, right just right after this announcement. God is about to make sense of your trouble. God is about to make sense of the hell you went through. And you will prosper and you will have favor and you will fulfill your destiny. To walk in the perfect will of God for your life. To release the plans and the purposes that he created you for. The anointing is about to release on your life after you leave this conference who explain all the craziness you've been through. He says, Francis, how are people going to know Melchizedek is a mantle of money if you keep going coach? Get out of coach and I'll take care of the business class. The mantle will pay for its lifestyle. I bless you, I release you, I declare over you, you are a man of God in Jesus' name. And the father says, son, I'm proud to call you my son. Yeah. You can't seek his kingdom and forget his righteousness. No puedes buscar su reino y olvidarte de su justicia. His righteousness is embedded in his kingdom. Su justicia está en su reino. You can't chase the kingdom without chasing his righteousness. No See, the order of Melchizedek is an eternal priesthood. Eternal priesthood don't deal with moments, they deal with the end of things. Because it's an eternal priesthood, God does not look at you as though you are incomplete. He looks at you as complete. God is about to make sense of your trouble. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, saints, you have to join me and Apostle Craig Hill, Apostle Brian Valley at that life-changing glory to God uh, conference that's going to be happening in this U.S. of A. in Orlando, Florida. Praise God. Anybody who has been to my conferences, there's one thing they always tell me. Dr. Mouse, you put up some of the most anointed conferences I've been to. I'm telling you because they are birthed in prayer and fasting, that's why we want, we see God moving in very unusual ways. Praise the Lord. Now, saints, listen, there is a mandate from heaven today uh, for God to break uh, that altar, that evil altar of infirmity over your life and your bloodline. So I really would love to read uh, a very important uh, uh, scripture uh, in the book of uh, it's a, it's in the book of Luke, the book of Luke uh, and chapter thirteen. The book of Luke, the gospel according to Luke chapter thirteen. We have beginning from verse ten to thirteen. There's an interesting story of what I want to address today because that is what is on the is on the heart of God. Okay, and I want you to get ready. Okay, because today is your day for a miracle. Today, God is going to break whatever has been given legal rights 
over your life or bloodline to infirm you, disease you, or bring sickness upon your life, or actually bring emotional sicknesses. Sometimes, you know, people are smiling, but internally you are infirmed. You have been handcuffed by a, a sore wound, so traumatic, you don't know how to get rid of it. I'm here to tell you there's an anointing coming today where God is going to deal with that issue. I'm going to take you into the court of heaven, and together we are going to process execute uh, that evil altar of infirmity over your life, over your bloodline, and any familiar spirits that are behind that altar are going to be arrested. And then guess what's going to happen on your end? Miracle, miracle. There's an anointing. I even feel it right now. It is that strong today. Glory to God. So in the comment section on Facebook, YouTube, you better tell me what you're believing God for today. And as God is healing, even what I'm teaching, I'm sensing there are people who are being healed. There is somebody even right now who's been going through serious heart palpitations over the next, it's been happening a lot over the last 90 days. You know, you know if it's you, let me know. Because you are being healed right now. I mean, there's been times you thought you're going to have a heart attack. Because they had to start, I mean, they had to begin to flop like that, you know. But God is healing you today from that infirmity. So, in the book of Luke 13, verse 10 to 13, it says this Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on Shabbat. And behold, there was a woman, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity, who had a spirit of of infirmity 18 years 18 years so it's clear that when there's a spirit behind your disease it usually lasts longer longer when you see uh lingering diseases that are, that, that i mean i mean that you know that sometimes violate natural law you you can't make sense of it you you eat well you you, you you've you've gone to the doctor it's still there a lot of time it's because there's a spirit engineering the disease. She had a spirit of infirmity. She had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bent over. Was bent over. So it was the, this spirit of infirmity manifested in our, in our situation in our being bent over. So I believe a lot of times when people are bent over, you know, it, 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 it may have to do with the same spirit of infirmity behind it. Okay, but that word infirmity has many applications and we're going to be looking at that because today I believe is your day for your deliverance. I am going to take you before the, uh, be before, before the court of heaven. We're going to come before the ancient of days, uh, our heavenly father, you know, and we're going to begin to see Yeshua Jesus work a miracle for you in his name. It says this, she was bent over for 18 years. And could in no way raise herself up. My wife and I just returned from a, being at our first Chinese church in America. In New York. A church called Rivers of Life. It's a, it's a Chinese church. And my God, there were so many healings among those Chinese. I mean, I, mean I, I can't speak Chinese. I was speaking through the interpreter. But God gave them a lot of miracles because it doesn't matter. God understands every language. And God gave them many, many miracles. And I've just come out of that, out of that service on Sunday. So I'm on fire today. I feel such an anointing for God to deliver people from lingering diseases, lingering sicknesses, demonically engineered sicknesses. But then it says this, verse 12. But when Jesus saw her, that's Luke's Gospel 13. But when Jesus saw her, I'm here to tell you the reason you get the miracle. The reason why the spirit of infirmity has to live today. More than any other day is because Jesus is looking at you today. Today you have caught his attention. Jesus saw her. Man, I tell you, I thank God for the God who sees me. I thank God for the God who sees you. Jesus saw her. He called her to him. And said to her, Woman, thou art loosed. Woman, thou art loosed. Now that word loosed is a legal term, and I'm going to deal with that because it shows us that this spirit of infirmity had legal rights in our life. 
And I believe many times when a spirit of infirmity or uh, sickness and disease has, uh, has a legal right in our life, usually the legal right is because of unforgiveness, in the sore bitterness, could have something we went through, you know, or, or, or living in fear. Oh boy, fear can open so many doors to the demonic world. The Bible says, the Bible says, you know, that God has not given us a spirit of what? Fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. But the Bible says that he that fears is not perfected in the love of God. Why? Because fear has torment. It has torment. You know, and the spirit of fear, I believe, is the spirit that opens the door for any other ailments, any other uh, demonic spirits to gang up on you, okay? But a lot of times it's because something in the soul is broken. You went through something where, uh, 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 where you are traumatized in the soul, you know, and what happened to you maybe was so, was so tragic or your loved one. That, that it became difficult for you to forgive them. As a matter of fact, a lot of rheumatoid arthritis, a, 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 lot, of, uh, uh, rheumatoid, a lot of the rheumatoid arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, every time I say it, I know that it, ha that it has to do with a critical spirit. A critical spirit is literally the one behind rheumatoid arthritis. Multiple sclerosis, a lot of times, has to do with unforgiveness. A lot of people with multiple sclerosis, if it's, the question is, is not what is the matter, the question is who is the matter? Because I found in cases where they really, really said, God, I, 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 I need your help to forgive this person, healing begin to happen. The, but Jesus says, you are loose. Loose there is the word we're going to examine because it's, it's legal in nature. It says, you are loose from your infirmity. And he said, and he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight. May you be made straight today. May you be made to hear today. May that disease that has troubled you be gone today. May God make you straight today in Jesus' name. Maybe you are bent over. May, may God cause, you, cause your spine supernaturally to be loosed as I pray today. Because I'm telling you, I feel the anointing. Ever since the Lord took me uh, after July 4th, Independence Day in America, to spend three days of fasting in the mountains of the, in, in the, mountains of the Moravian Falls in North Carolina, where we, I came down from the mountain with, a, with an unusual anointing for miracles, signs and wonders. Every meeting we, are, we have now is cut, characterized with miracles happening so fast. So I'm believing God that there's no distance in the spirit. The anointing can get you in the clouds because God owns the universe. Every aspect of the universe is owned by God, including the clouds. So I do know by the part of God that many of you are getting touched even now in Jesus' name. Now Jesus, Jesus, uh, Jesus uh, uh, does something very, very, very interesting. He, after he lays his hands on her, the Bible says, immediately she was made straight and glorified God. When, I want you to make up your mind that you're going to glorify God. As he hears, you're going to glorify God. You're going to make noise about this. You won't keep quiet. You'll tell everybody who would listen, God gave you a miracle. You know I mean, you come back to my website, FrancisMiles.com, and testify. Dr. Miles, you went live on YouTube or Facebook, you know, on a Tuesday, and I got healed. I got delivered. My cancer disappeared. The tumor disappeared. By the way, there is somebody, uh, well, your, your throat has been very scratchy lately, very, very scratchy, and it's becoming hoarse. I feel God is healing you from an early form of cancer of the throat that the enemy was trying to put on you. I declare by the Spirit of God that the anointing of God is touching you right now. If I, would, if I were you, I would put my hands right there on my, on my throat because I feel fire going through your hands into that throat area and you are being healed from what would have become throat cancer. I mean, it's been worrying you. It's really been worrying you. But God is healing you now in Jesus' name. But look at what the, the, how the religious spirit responded to this. But the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation. Because Jesus had healed on the Shabbat. And he said to the crowd, There are six days on which men ought to work. Therefore come and be healed 
on them and not on the Shabbat day. You see, the spirit of religion will always tell you today is not the time to get healed. The spirit of religion will tell you, well, how, how, how are you going to get healed? Francis Miles is not even there physically. He's speaking on YouTube. The devil is, that's a religious spirit. God is the, the angel of the Lord is with you. The Holy Spirit is exactly with you, next to you, by you, on you. You are going to get delivered. Don't believe the, the lies from hell. And, you know, and Jesus tells us that the reason why he did, this woman got delivered is because she was a son of, she was a child of Abraham. Look at what he says in verse 15. And the Lord then answered and said, Hypocrite, does not each one of you on Shabbat loose his ox or donkey from the store and lead it away to water it? So ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham? Friends, this is why miracles happen. Miracles happen because you are a daughter or a son of Abraham. If you believe in Yeshua, if you are following Jesus, you are a child of Abraham. You are Abraham is your father by faith. That healing is healing or deliverance from demons is, is the right, is the covenant right of the daughters and sons of Abraham. She said, what's going to be whom Satan has bound for 18 years be loosed from this bond? A bond, again, is a legal term. That's why I'm going to take you in the court of heaven. Because apparently Yeshua is showing us that there was a spirit of infirmity that came into this life that became the engineer, the, the power station behind the, the, uh, the, the handcuffedness she had where she was bent over, which means she walked like this because she was always she was bent over because of this infirmity. That means it locked her spine. You know, and the enemy is a master the hiding in natural things where you can, you can even excuse the devil and say, you know what, it's just my vertebrae. It, you know, it's just my, it's just the, you know, the bones, the bones in my, in my spine, you know, they, they're just old, you know, you know, or, you know, uh, uh, the, the devil is a liar because you cannot give the devil a natural reason to keep afflicting you. All I tell you is this, whatever legal right, is there has existed until now is about to be dissolved when you and i go in the court of heaven and you are going to see god begin to bring healing and deliverance to you you know that word loosed is that yeshua uses is a legal expression of law which is often used when someone is released out of their legal obligation by a judge i can tell you today by the blood of jesus that is speaking on your behalf by the mercy of god God, the judge, is about to speak of, on your behalf and say, Loose every legal obligation, every legal right that if that infirmity has had is going to be destroyed. It is very clear in this woman's life that what was happening, there was a legal right. The accuser had found a legal right, you know, and he brought a lawsuit against her in the spirit. He brought an accusation that landed on her body as an infirmity that caused her to be bent over. But Jesus uh, says, you are loose from the bond. You know, you are loose from the bond. If you ever, anybody has ever dealt with the legal profession, or you know that if somebody is, 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 is arrested, you know, you have to bond them out. They have to get a bond in order for them, in order for them to come out until the trial, or they get to stay in jail. Until the, you know, but if they get a bond, so a bond is usually a formal written agreement by which a person undertakes to perform a certain act, you know, such as to appear in court or fulfill their legal obligations of a contract. You know? So the spirit of infirmity in this case came upon this woman because of a spiritual bond that Satan had placed on her under that she couldn't pay. Thank God for Jesus, who knows the judge, because the judge... Is his, right, is his father. Okay? He, and Jesus is our advocate. He's our deliverer. He was able by his blood, by his mercy as the Savior, you know, to, rede to redeem this woman from the terrible bond she and the blood and was under that caused the spirit of infirmity to find them as a fatal ground to attack them with all kinds of diseases. Well, I'm telling you, I'm ready to pray for you. Uh, because I'm sensing this anointing uh, very, very strong, and I just want God to touch you in a fresh and new way. I want God to really come upon you. I want God to touch you 
like never before in a powerful way in Jesus' mighty name. So again, for those who are on YouTube, I'm looking at the comments uh, you are sending here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Deborah Jones, God bless you. Ingrid Yolanda, God bless you. Toshi, God bless you. Linda Anderson from, Canada, from Ontario, Canada. God bless you. Veronica Coffey, blessings to you, Apostle. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. To Tony Elo, greetings from Lagos, Nigeria. Ble I'm telling you, miracles are going to go everywhere today. So, uh, Zoraida, Zoraida from Brooklyn, God, uh, God bless you. Amen. The anointing is waiting on you. Regina, amen. Marissa from Trinidad, God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ife, hallelujah. And Aguro, Ag Ag Agukoronye, uh, God bless you. Amen. Annette, Emmanuel, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. She said, I need a word tonight from the man of God. Yes, it's coming forth with power today. Amen. Denisha from Canada, God bless you. Hallelujah. Tuana Harris, you know, I want the spirit of infirmity off my back. Yes, I agree. Robin, I love the book. It's amazing. Dangerous prayers. Amen. Thank you, Robin. Regina, more, I'm believing God for a new home and financial breakthrough. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I know our focus today is to pray for the spirit of infirmity over people's lives. But I'm telling you, you know, miracles are like grapes. They come in clusters. You get one, you get others in other areas. So get ready that even though we are praying for infirmity, that God is going to, because God is going to heal your soul and financial prosperity is also deal, dealing with a, with a healing of the wounded soul. Guess what? Don't be surprised that you get financial miracles, even though we are focusing today on the healing of of the spirit of infirmity. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Nadia. Nadia. I'm believing God for healing and deliverance for me and my family and my siblings and our children. Our family is withered with so many attacks of sickness and poverty and stagnation. Well, Nadia, I'm believing God for you. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Linda Anderson. Oh, Lord, I agree and I receive my miracle tonight. Yeah, through the man of God in Jesus' name. Oh, I'm telling you, I feel that anointing. With great uh, gratitude, I am open to receive, and I'm healthy and whole. Yes, I'm telling you, it's coming. And then, I need prayers for me and my family against spirits of infirmity and attacks of witchcraft altars. Yes, I'm telling you, get ready. I'm reading all of these things, you know, because I want to read. So I want people to know when you put your request in the uh, comment section, Dr. Miles is going to read it. Okay, hallelujah, praise God. Look at this, look at this. Thank you, Marissa, let your, uh, let, 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 Lord, let your miracle hand come upon me and my family. Yes, it will. Thank you, Jesus, I feel the anointing. May Lee, good evening from Sa 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 Scranton, Pennsylvania. Yes, the anointing of God is being released. Hallelujah, glory to God. Pray for increase in financial abundance for, uh, for Shane, uh, new commerce, new e-commerce business and favor. Glory to God, I declare that. Man, I'm telling you, God is going to move like never been known. Bose, Ishaya, I declare my healing in Jesus' name. I'm telling you, I'm feeling the anointing by the glory of God. Deborah Jones, please pray for my daughter's unborn baby, whose doctor says, uh, as, as a small stomach, the devil is a liar. Both the mother and the baby are being healed, even now, in Jesus' name. We're about to go in the court of heaven's hands to deal with the evil author of infirmity. Right now, I'm just reading the comments you are putting on YouTube, so you know that I'm listening, I'm with you, by the Spirit of the living God, Esther Magro. I also ask pray for pray, prayers for the spirit of mental blocks, mental blocks of finances and success over me and my husband. I declare that over you in the name of Jesus. Makaraba sende bebe. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Man, I'm feeling this anointing so strong. Kathleen, deliver me from sleep apnea. Sleep apnea and cyst damage in my body. I'm telling you today, Kathleen, is your day. I'm seeing the cysts disappearing right now in Jesus' name. I'm seeing you sleeping like a baby. I'm telling you, some of, I'm telling the spirit of infirmity can cause many. Sleep apnea is part of the spirit of infirmity. Okay? I'm believing the Lord for my son to walk. To, to work on my financial breakthrough. This is Zile Mwagwaza. Amen. God bless you. Dustin uh, Lateral. Yes, I agree with Francis Miles in the almighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare deliverance over my life. My God, my God. Saints, I'm telling you, I feel this. Giselle or Childs. 
healing for Edmund, fresh kidneys. Come on now. Healing to my left wrist, strange pain. Gisela, get ready for healing because there are going to be so many healings today. I sense them. Salamina from London, UK. God bless you in Jesus' name. And now it's late in the UK, but receive that anointing. Caroline Hekel from the Texas. God bless you, bless you. Devereo Ministries, nerves in my feet. Fluid in my lungs. Devil Riolo, a man of God, God is healing you right now. I'm telling you, before it's over, all your lungs will be cleared out by the power. I sense such an anointing from the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name. Carla Smith. There are three uh, critical names. Amela, Amelia, teenager, Noel, a child. God, I'm praying for all of those people. Thank you, Jesus. Man, I'm telling you, I see so. Linda Perry, household salvation. My son, my husband, pray for our marriage. He is not a believer. The spirit of that, I mean, God is going to do all of that. See, you get extra miracles, even though we are going for infirmity today. But I'm declaring that there will be extra miracles beyond what we are praying for that you are going to receive today. Esther, my girl, I have chronic pain and believe in God for miracles. I often, I'm often I'm moved to tears for others in pain or in wheelchairs. I desire so much help. You see, that's what happens to, uh, when, uh, when God is giving you a healing ministry. He gives you compassion for people who are in trouble. My God, my God, my God. God, pray for my joint and thumb dislocations. Oh, again, I, 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 and against the speed, the speed husbands. Amen. I'm going to be dealing with that subject one of these days because it keeps coming up a lot. This morning I receive, yeah, I receive healing from blocked tubes. Now, now look at God, look at God, look at God. Hallelujah. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, Jeff Dixon, pray for success in serving Jesus for my children, please. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I receive healing for, from osteo, osteoarthritis. Osteo, osteoarthritis. So, so no surgery be needed. BJ, I'm agreeing with God for you for that. In Jesus' name. Man, there is so many people on YouTube. Let me see my friends on Facebook. What are you saying? Joyce on Facebook. We believe it. We receive it. We are totally healed. Uh, in, oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Amen. This is an anointing healing people right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. At uh, uh, Triple, my name is Delma Tomaski, and uh, a priest pray for us. I'm praying in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hey, wonder. Hello, Papa. Please pray for my book. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Uh, look, at, look at God, look at God, look at God, look at God. I'm telling you, God is moving mightily both on Facebook and on YouTube. Okay, are you ready? We are about to go in the court of heaven now, and we are going to pray and believe God against the evil altar of infirmity. So I want you to open your mouth and you pray with this prayer after me. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, if you want to be able to, if, if you want to, w- w- one of the things I always do when the anointing is flowing, I never miss the opportunity to be able to sow a seed. So if God leads you to sow a seed of any kind because you are being blessed by the Lord, you are being prompted by the Holy Spirit, there is a, lower, a, a giving lower thirds that show you the different ways you can give to the Lord. But right now, let's go into the court of heaven Because we are going to come after the evil author of infirmity. As soon as we do that, I'm going to pray against that. And we're going to begin to see miracles flying flying off the shelves of heaven. In Jesus' name. So whatever you are, I want you to pray this prayer after me. I'm going to be as slow as I can be. In Jesus' mighty name. I want you to pray this prayer after me right now. Are you ready? Pray this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father and Righteous Judge. Holy is your name and greatly to be praised. By faith in the finished work of Jesus, I step into the court of heaven. Heavenly Father, as I step into the court of heaven, I thank you that the the book, the book of my destiny and the book of remembrance is opened. Lord, it is clear that in the book of destiny that you wrote for my life, 
There is no place for the spirit of infirmity to terrorize my life. So, Lord, anything you did not write, anything you did not write about me, must now be removed by the authority of the court of heaven in the mighty name of your son, Jesus of Nazareth. Heavenly Father, righteous judge, I am asking you that you cleanse me and my bloodline from any legal right in my soul because of trauma, unforgiveness, a critical spirit, or walking in bitterness. Lord, any legal right the enemy has been given that gave him the, gave him the power to release the spirit of infirmity against me. Heavenly Father and righteous judge, I am asking by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ that those demonic legal rights be dissolved now by the blood of your son Jesus. Lord, according to the book of Hebrews 12, I have come to Mount Zion which is the city of the living God. Where there is the blood of Jesus sprinkled that speaks of better things than the blood of Abel. So Lord, I ask that the blood of Jesus would now speak loudly, authoritatively against every evil altar of infirmity that Satan planted in my bloodline and in my soul and physical body. I say, you evil author of infirmity, be gone out of my life in the name of Yeshua, the Son of the living God. Heavenly Father, right now, I ask that you send the fire of the Holy Ghost to burn every form of infirmity in my physical body, in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, righteous judge, I ask you, God, to issue a divine restraining order over my life against the spirit of infirmity in Jesus' mighty name. I renounce the spirit of infirmity. I demand my healing. In Jesus' name. Lord, release me from any bond, any demonic bond, any demonic bond the enemy has placed me under. I renounce every contract, every, every contract, every covenant with death and sickness that has been made in my bloodline by my forefathers out of their ignorance. It can be used against me. In Jesus' name. Lord, it is written in the word of God. Acts 10.38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good and healing all of them that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Lord, I thank you that sickness, disease, and infirmity are oppressions of the devil. And Jesus is still going about doing good, healing all of them that are oppressed of the devil. Jesus, I give you the permission now to heal me of this infirmity. I receive, I receive the cry of Jesus over my life that I am loosed. I am loosed from this infirmity. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Since if you have prayed that prayer, that evil order of infirmity is already breaking, it's being arrested. So as I pray in this prayer, right now, receive it right now. Father, I command and try this to go. I command emphysema, be gone. 
I command cancer of the throat, be gone. I command every tumor. If you've got tumors, this is, the time, this is your moment. A tumor shrink, disappear now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command cataracts in the eyes, in the eyes. Somebody, somebody who can barely see. God is right now because of cataracts. God is healing your eyes right now in Jesus' name. The cataracts are falling off by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mighty name. You feel a tinkling sensation in your eyes because the Lord Jesus is healing you. Receive the healing anointing right now in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody is being healed. You are being healed from, you fail. Yeah, you fail. Uh, you fail uh, a couple of days ago. You fail, and your whole left side is hurting. But God is touching you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mighty name. There is a cyst that is being healed. There is a cyst that is being healed right now. Somebody, uh, somebody, you'll be, you, you, uh, uh, somebody's kidneys are being healed. There are somebody's kidneys are being healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have been very, very afraid because you, you know, your kidneys have been shutting down. But God is healing you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The fire of God just came upon you. I felt the fire of Almighty God come upon you in Jesus' name. God is healing your kidneys in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody, I mean, I mean, you have got a difficult time hearing from your right side. God is opening you right here. Right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, be healed by the power of Almighty God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Kurabakando, I command every spirit of witchcraft behind your disease, be gone. In, if there's witchcraft behind your sickness, I say, you spirit of witchcraft, and be gone in Jesus' name. The spirit of infirmity is broken, and these children of Abraham must be released, devil. You cannot hold them. They must be released in Jesus' mighty and glorious name. Since it is such an anointing, people are being touched, people are being healed. Tell me what's happening on YouTube. Tell me if you feel like fire is going through your body or you feel a tingling sensation or a numbness coming on you. That is the power of Almighty God healing you. Maybe the pain you are feeling uh, just disappeared. Let me know in the YouTube section. Let me know on the Facebook section because that's how you acknowledge God's healing power and you make, the, you make a liar of the devil and you make God true. Let every man be a liar and God be true. You are being delivered right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Men have failed this anointing in a very powerful way in Jesus' mighty name. My glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God. Whatever you are, whatever you are believing God for right now is being released in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you are believing God for right now is being released in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God. I'm here. Huh? People are testifying of being touched right now. People are being sick. Somebody said, my hands, are, my hands are, 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 are on fire and tingling. That is Christian. Yes, Christian, you are being healed by the power of God. Hallelujah. Some, Regina Moses, my breathing is better now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rando Bosaka. Fibroids, fibroids. Somebody, there are a lot of people watching me. That you have got fibroids. Fibroids are being healed. Literally, somebody is even feeling like somebody is cutting the fibroids right in your belly. Like somebody, like, you know the way you, you cut vegetables. I mean, it's it's un, I mean, that's the power of the Holy Ghost. The, some of you, I see you passing out. I see you running to the restroom and passing out and fight. I mean, some of you, the fibroids just disappear. Some of you, the Lord showed me, they're going to pass out as you go to the restroom. Something supernatural is happening. Fibroids are being healed by the power of Almighty God in Jesus' mighty name. My God, I feel this anointing. I feel this anointing so strong. People are testifying. Miracles are happening, people, all over the world in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, somebody say my whole body, my whole body is shaking right now. Yeah, Gaspra, I mean, look at this, look at this, look at this. Gaspra saying, says, thank you, Jesus. My whole body is shaking, man of God. 
Sakaraba. Esther said, absolute peace just came upon me. That said, that said, sometimes when God is doing something, he puts a blanket of peace around you. Just you turn up. There are, there, are, there are immono imbalances. If you have got, there's a woman, there are, there, hallelujah. There, I, I hear God say, there, there, there's, uh, God says to me, to me to tell people that women, you don't have to take the, well, it's, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm past menopause. That's why I've got all these hot flashes. God says, I'm healing hot flashes right now. It is not your destiny. It is not your portion. Hormono imbalances and hot flashes. Listen to me. Hormono imbalances and hot flashes are being healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hormono imbalances and hot flashes. I hear the Holy Ghost says you are being here. They are, those conditions are being healed. If you identify with that, just say I receive it. The power of God has been released. My God. Wow. Look at that. Mm. Hallelujah. Somebody is asking for, for the healing of worship leader Linda Cooley. Linda, Linda Cooley, body recover speed. Eh? Um, that God is restoring. And there's such an anointing right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, everybody with heart palpitations, if you've got any heart palpitations or any kind of heart disease, lay your hand on your body right now because God is healing you right now. In Jesus' name, I'm telling you, saints, there will be things to testify over, over the next few days. I'm telling you, somebody with some broken vertebrae, God is healing you right now. In your spine is being healed. Some of you, you get tremendous pains going down right. right. Some, there's somebody, you get tremendous pain going right into your left leg, especially because of some things wrong with your spine, uh, with the vertebrae on your spine. God is saying, I'm recreating new vertebrae on your spine. And that, and that uh, like almost like um, sharp knife feeling in your left leg is being healed right now in Jesus' name. I would just receive the miracle if I was you. I will just receive it right now in Jesus' name. Man, I'm excited because of all the testimonies I'm getting on YouTube, so many people are being healed. Glory to God. I mean, the testimonies are being healed. Hallelujah. So many people. My God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. People are, are testifying of being healed right now in Jesus' name. Now, listen. I, I want to thank God for everybody that has been uh, uh, supporting Francis Mouse Ministries. You know, I'm so blessed by the passionate followers that God has given me and um, who will tell me constantly how much they're being blessed by, every, by my YouTube channel, my Facebook. They tell me, you have no idea. We live on your YouTube uh, uh, broadcast. We are living on your revelation. Dr. Francis Mouse is changing our lives. I mean, that really excites me. Okay, and uh, over the years, the Lord has given us an amazing army of amazing givers who give into this ministry. So I just want to applaud you for continuing to give into this ministry, you know, because you have also discovered that this ministry is good ground. So I want to tell you about something that I'll be doing in 2023, that you and I together, God is calling us because it's, it's not God speaks to one man. But, they, but great is the company of those that publish what, the heavenly vision. Well, where, um, uh, I told you that July 4th, after July 4th, the Lord sent me for three days of fasting in the, at the mountains of the Moravian Falls in North Carolina. It was in those mountains during those three days of fasting when Yeshua spoke to me very clearly. He spoke to me and he said to me, Francis, in 2023, I'm releasing upon you the anointing for the healing, the mass healing crusades that you began with in the 90s. Because in the 90s, that is what I was known for everywhere was the mass healing crusades. Blind eyes opening, people jumping out of wheelchairs, people coming out of stretchers, all kind of healings. And most importantly, the greatest miracle of all was people giving their lives to Christ. Well, the Lord said to me, Francis, in 2023, you are going to spend a lot of time in Africa because I'm sending you, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm sending you back to the Crusades, but you're going to begin with Africa in 2023, and then you're going to move to South America 
and the Caribbean islands and then Asia in that order because you are going to lead millions to Christ over the next 10 years. That is what the promise the Lord gave to me. And he said to me, I want to believe me for two 18-wheeler two trucks, two trucks uh, that can carry the crusade equipment as you go from African country to African country, city to city, to lead the lost to Christ. And uh, so 2023, we are putting everything. So right now, uh, me and my board and my friends, we are working tirelessly to put it together. And uh, the Lord told me to believe me, to believe him for an initial, uh, an initial investment of $300,000 into buying all the crusade equipment we are going to need for the crusades, okay? And so this is the PS system, uh, the, the cameras, the, the 18 wheelers, a minibus to carry the crusade team, the intercessors, long before I get to the, uh, to, the, to, the, to the crusade grounds. Since I'm telling you, I'm so excited. So God told me that, Francis, I want you to believe me for a Gideon 300. What is a Gideon 300? Gideon won a mighty victory in the book of Judges because of 300 people that were fully committed to the Lord and his kingdom. Sometimes you don't need big numbers to do big things. You just need a Gideon 300. So God said to me, believe me for a Gideon 300, which is a group, of, which is 300 people between now and Christmas of this year who are going to sow $1,000 or more into you buying the crusade equipment for the crusade in Africa. So I want you to pray about becoming one of my Gideon 300. You know, there are two ways to give $1,000. You can give it completely once or in four installments of 250 uh, for the, over the next four months. And I know God will help you sow a $1,000 seed. If you do that, we are going to... Uh, we are building a crusade uh, uh, warehouse where the trucks are going to be sleeping and maintained, and we are going to put the bricks. We're going to put your name and uh, your full name on the brick, you know, of the Gideon 300 will be the bricks we're going to use to build the warehouse. So anybody who comes there will know that you are part of that. You have got a legacy in the crusades that are going to be happening in Africa. Now, if you give $2,000 or more, then not only are you going to get your own brick, okay, and we'll do a video of that so you can see when the bricks are going up, but not only do you get the brick, but if you give $2,000 or more, you can literally request, email me at info at francismouse.com, uh, or we'll contact you if you give $2,000 or more to buying the crusade equipment for Africa. I'm going to give you 30 minutes of my private time on Zoom where you can bring anybody to that Zoom meeting. And I'm going to pray for everybody. It's only 30 minutes I'm giving you, but I'll be there live and I'll give you a private session of prayer time where I can minister to you or your family on anything that you bring on the table. Praise the living God. Now, I want to show you the crusade equipment uh, we are looking at uh, to buy, you know, this particular 18-wheeler comes with a, it, it, I mean, this 18-wheeler actually becomes a full-blown stage. So we don't even have to buy it. I mean, the 18-wheeler flips and becomes a stage and also comes with a PA system that can speak to 10,000 people. The good news is that that allows us to add on to it as the clouds are growing because our initial crusade we're expecting we're going to probably have between 20 to 25,000 people, and then each crusade will grow in number after the fact. So we want to show you what crusade a track we're believing God for. So, Mr. Director, if you can go ahead and show them the crusade track we're believing God for by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah.
Wow, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So since you've seen the equipment, we are trying, to, we are going, not we are trying to get it, we're going to get it. We've already been in touch with uh, the company in China that produces this amazing truck. And so we, we need to get it ASAP. So, as you, so I wanted to know that every, uh, ed, when you go to my website, francismouse.com, you, uh, you forward slash give or you click on give, you will notice that if you're, if you're on our website, there's African Crusade equipment. But if you're giving using Cash App, uh, Venmo, or the other means of giving, what you need to do is, in your giving, add, add in the giving section, add a comment that says, Africa Crusade equipment. Africa Crusade equipment. I thank God. As a matter of fact, I mean, I'm thankful. I, I, I want to give a testimony. You know, today my wife, we're just, my wife and I were just driving back to our, to our home when um, she showed me a check of somebody who sent me $2,000 today. You know, they used the foundation to send it to me, but they were anonymous donors, but they were sending the money for the Africa Crusade equipment. I was so blessed. You know, they wanted to remain anonymous, and I think, you know, but wherever they are, I know God knows who they are. The Lord will bless them richly in a big, in a big way. You know, but again, I know that 300 people giving a thousand dollars will get us three, will give us, will give us a minimum of 300,000 dollars. You know, we estimate it will take us at least 300,000 to 400,000 to be fully, fully equipped, and then it's it's devil watch out because we are gonna be having one crusade after the other. By the way, we will be live streaming the crusades to YouTube because part of the equipment we are buying are the cameras and everything and the live streaming equipment so that you are my friends on YouTube and from around the world who help make it happen can also participate in watching the crusade, seeing people get saved and know that you know I am part of that, I am part of that. I help Dr. Miles and Camilla do what they are now doing. I am part of this new season of harvesting the lost. Amen. So once again, every penny given to this venture, every penny given for the crusade, I can guarantee you, you know, God being my witness, in Jesus' mighty name, every penny will be spent on the crusade. Nothing will be spent on Dr. Miles or anybody like that or television ministry. It will be spent only on the crusade because we need to get this equipment and we also need to build a warehouse where all the equipment will be staying all that good stuff. Praise the Lord. I'm going to be going to Africa in about two weeks again to look at the site where we're going to be building the warehouse for where the trucks and all the equipment is going to be lodging and staying in between the crusades. Praise the Lord. So if the Lord is touching you and you want to help the mouse, you know, you want to be part of this new assignment the Lord has given the man of God, then guess what? Join me because remember, every soul that gets saved, Every soul that gets healed in the crusade, Jesus is able to trace it right back to the seed you gave. That's how we can all be part of this. You don't have to be the evangelist to win souls, but you can be the one that helps the evangelist, like Francis Mouse, get it done. So I'm very, very excited about this new season I'm entering of going back to doing the work of an evangelist, to heal the lost, Spirit, soul, and body in Jesus' mighty name. Now, since I'm so excited before we close, again, I want to talk to you that on September 27th, Mr. Director, September 27th, I am doing one of the biggest online events I've ever done on my teaching on issuing divine restraining orders. I'm going to teach people how you can become an expert at going in the court of heaven is to issue a divine restraining order. This is a free event, free event. It's going to be online, so it doesn't matter which country you are in, you can be part of that event. The problem is it's fitting up so fast because for a very long time, people have begged me, asked me, Lord, the demands, can you teach others how to issue restraining orders? Can you teach others to become experts like you? Amen on how to issue divine restraining orders. How do you get them? How often do you get them? How, I mean, which ones are there? I mean, it's going to be deep. 
It's an online event. It's going to happen on September 27 because of the overwhelming response we are getting. We, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be going live twice on September 27. Once, one, the first time it will be at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and second time will be 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can choose which one works better for your time zone, and you can join me. But in order to do that, you have to register for this event. It's an online event. It's free, but you register for it. So online, you can see how to register. Simply go to francismouse.com forward slash D-R-O, francismouse.com forward slash D-R-O, and therefore you are going to receive a reminder email so you won't forget because it's going to be an, a special online event, one day only, where I'm going to take you behind the veil on the subject of how you can become an expert at issuing divine restraining orders for, for yourself that work, issuing divine restraining orders for other people that work miracles. Don't miss it. You want to join us for that amazing event. Again, it's going to be happening September 27. So I'm asking for you to simply quickly right now take a picture of the screen or write down francismouse.com forward slash D-R-O forward slash D-R-O, and sign up. It's free. It's free. And I've got a surprise for you on that day that you only find out on the day of. Literally, if you won't be in the live session, you'll be slapping yourself. You'll be like, oh, my God, why did I miss that? I did not know God that Dr. Mouse was going to do some giveaways on that event. It's going to be phenomenal. But most importantly, Thank God for my book. And those of you who have read it, it's, it the book has stored, has stored, I, I, mean, the, I mean, the book is all over the world. But the book does not have my grace. The book is static. It doesn't grow beyond what I wrote. But since I wrote that book, I know way more than it is in the book on the subject of how to effectively, successfully issue divine restraining orders from the court of heaven. That being the case, you want to sign up for that event. It's going to be amazing. Now, as we get ready to close, again, I'm seeing that arthritis is being healed. My God, look at the miracles here. Wow. Amen. Thank you. And many people, at, uh, uh, somebody, Tala Wu, just say, I will be one of the Gideon 300. Thank you. I'm blowing a kiss. I'm blowing a kiss, and I'm telling you, see, I'm telling you your descendants will be blessed forever, you know, because for reaching the lost. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Melissa says, please, can you teach on jumping the bloodline? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that, okay, because it's been requested. I'm going to teach on jumping the bloodline. I'm going to do a live stream on jumping. I'm going to call it jumping the bloodline day. But what we're going to do, we're going to do a campaign and let you know in advance so that we have a massive attendance and then we're going to have a jumping the bloodline day. Oh, I love that. So I'm taking that, I'm taking that from Meli. Oh, glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maria Grady said, today is my, my, my happy birthday. I'm 69 years. Thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Happy birthday, Maria. Maria. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So thank you. Amen. Thank you. Linda Anderson says, wow, it's an amazing track. Yes, Linda, thank you. And people are really helping us get it. Cross Ministries says, count me in as one of your Gideon 300. Thank you, Cross Ministries. May God anoint you for doing that. My Lord, I just love the people God has given me. They just jump in and together we do the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Regina Romo says, God bless me with $1,000 so I can soar into Dr. Miles getting the truck. You know what? If that is your desire, let me do something. This is a powerful thing. You may not have 1000 but if it's in your heart, if it's in your heart, 
Whatever you are, I want you to raise your hand if it's in your heart to sway $1,000 uh, to become part of the Gideon 300 for this truck to be redeemed from China to work for Jesus. If it's in your heart, lift your hands and by faith, I'm going to pray. I have an anointing for people for provision. When I pray for people, I remember there was a woman who didn't have money because she couldn't, she couldn't afford the $4,000 it was going to cost to go with me to Israel for her 70th birthday when Israel was also turning 70. I told her, well, why don't you ask your daddy, your daddy God? Many Christians, they stop, they allow money to talk to them instead of God talking to them. Or the, don't let money tell you, oh, you, you can't afford to give it. If it's in your heart, God will supply it. Well, she went to God and said, Daddy, I want to go to Israel. I'm turning 70. Israel is turning 70. Lord, I need $4,000. Do you know by within one week, somebody walked up to her on a Sunday in my church and said, hey, Dr. Mouse, I want to give 4000 I want to bless somebody to go to Israel. $4,000 within one week, God gave it to her. If it's your desire to sow a $1,000 seed, I want to pray. Father, for people like Regina Moore, who, want, who are desiring to, to become part of the Gideon 300, but right now they don't have $1,000, but they are making a pledge, they're making a vow to you, Lord, that if you put that money in their hands, they will run to give it in Jesus' name. Lord, I'm asking that you provide between now and December, and December, uh, between now and December, Lord, I'm asking you, you, you will supernaturally fight so quickly that that thousand dollars seed will in your hand. Somebody will call them and say, hey, I don't know why I'm doing this, but God told me to give you a thousand dollars. Lord, they will know that they will know this is a thousand dollars passing through my hand to go and buy uh, for the crusade, for the Africa crusade equipment for Dr. Miles, for the glory of God. Uh, and the Lord, as they honor their vow, may you bless them beyond that thousand dollars. May you bless them and their descendants and their family in Jesus' name. Amen. So again, if you are among, among those people who are saying that the mouse, I really want to be part of that, then guess what? That's it. Maybe you are in business and you want to go to the next level of business. You've got to do something you've never done before. Maybe you need to sow the seed so God can take your business to another dimension, your company to another dimension, your career to another dimension. So again, join me because I really believe I really believe that many of you are going to get a miracle just for standing with the man of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. S.S. Christo, the Lord shall help me be a blessing for the Gideon pledge. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Man, I'm telling you, there are so many of you who are doing this now. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anna. Anna. No shock. No, Anna, count me in. I will give under the order of Melchizedek. I will be part of the Gideon 300. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And by the way, another way you can, you can be part of this is, is be, please be, be, be in prayer for me. Become an intercessor between now and December. And, and, I, want, and I have one request. You pray, Lord, pray for over 300 people to respond. Pray for the Gideon 300 to, spa, to respond. So pray, be an intercessor, amen? Maybe you absolutely cannot give anything, okay? Why don't you become a prayer warrior for the Gideon 300 people to hear the voice of the Lord and do what must be done so that I can come back before, the day before Christmas, I would like to come live and tell you the Lord is doing, the Lord has done it. We've raised over $300,000, amen, glory to God, amen. For the crusades. And the truck is on its way from China. And other things we are buying from South Africa are on their way to the Republic of Zambia. And then we're going to be running like never before. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Even the people on Facebook who are saying I want to be part of the Gideon 300. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Since this uh, video is going to remain live on Facebook and YouTube, so feel free to share this video with as many people as you can. As if anybody you know that is dealing with the evil author of infirmity, anybody who's fighting disease, sickness, 
or lingering diseases, infirmity in the soul, you know, infirmity in the mind, infirmity in the body. This is their video. Share, share, share by the Spirit of God. Since I love you, I thank you so much for joining me on Facebook and YouTube. I love you so much. This is Dr. Miles. I'm now going to sign off. I'm saying shalom, shalom. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me by the Spirit of God.